Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to clean and install Windows 11 25H2. I think a lot of you want to do a refresh of your system. And of course, the best way to do that is to clean and install the latest Windows 11 operating system, the latest version, which is the 2025 update or Windows 11 25H2, which has been released a few days ago. In this video, I'm gonna show you an in-depth video of how to create a bootable USB drive and how to clean and install Windows 11 25H2 on your machine. If you enjoyed it, these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all we're gonna need the windows 11 media creation tool which you can get from the official microsoft website we're gonna have this page in the article below in the video description if you want to get it and in this page scroll down a bit where it says create windows 11 installation media and then click on download now make sure to open up the media creation tool and on user account control click on yes once the media creation tool is opening up it's gonna get a few things ready we're gonna accept the license terms we're gonna leave the default settings click on next and then we're gonna select USB flash drive click on next and of course it will automatically select our USB flash drive of course pay attention that everything from the USB flash drive will be erased so make sure you save everything you need from that USB selected and then click on next it's going to get a few things ready it's gonna start the downloading process of Windows 11 and it's gonna create our bootable USB drive next up is gonna verify our download and then it will start the process of creating the Windows 11 installation media. And after the process is finished, you're going to get this message, your USB flash drive is ready. We can click on finish for the setup to be finished, and then we can move on to the clean installation of Windows 11 25H2. The next steps, of course, would be to plug in your USB flash drive that you've just created into the system where you want to install Windows 11 25H2, and then turn on the computer and press the put key of your motherboard. You can search for that on Google if you have a Gigabyte or Asus motherboard just search for your boot key but it can be f2 escape delete f12 f8 one of these keys to boot up from the usb flash drive and then we're gonna have to press any key when the text appears and then you're gonna be greeted with this screen we're gonna select the language settings i'm gonna leave everything as default click on next next i'm gonna agree everything will be deleted including files apps and settings because this is a clean install and of course i would like to install windows 11 then click on next we're not gonna insert a product key right now i'm just gonna click on i don't have a product key we're gonna select the windows 11 pro edition click on next accept the license terms and here of course you can manage your discs in this case i only have an 80 gigabyte storage i'm just gonna select the unallocated space and then install windows 11 25 h2 in this space and then click on next and then we are ready to install and of course pay attention recap everything that you've done install windows 11 pro and then keep nothing and then we're gonna click on the install button and the installation process of windows 11 will begin of course the pc will restart several times and then we will be greeted with the second part of the installation which is the out of the box experience or the OB. The computer has restarted once and now we got to this screen where it says installing please keep your computer on and of course your computer may restart a few times. Now we got to the OB section of the installation process I'm just gonna leave it as United States then click on yes then click on yes again onto the keyboard layout and then skip because we can always add another one after the installation is finished. And then we need to name our device in this case I'm just insert ME and then click on next then the computer will restart again and then we can now click on setup for personal use and click on next then we're gonna have to click on sign in to sign in with our Microsoft account one thing that I like about the new setup is that you can easily use your mobile phone to quickly confirm that you're logging in without having to enter your password yet again then we can click on create pin then insert a quick pin then click on OK and from here usually I just uncheck tailored experiences inking and typing and also find my device but of course you can customize this according to your preference and then click on accept and then the setup will get things ready for us and we can wait a bit we can now customize our experience and from here whether you select development entertainment or gaming you'll have access to different experiences once you boot up for the first time but i'm just gonna click on skip skip on this as well because we can always connect our phone after the installation skip on this yet again not now decline microsoft 365 and then decline again you can uncheck yes set up my email and then click on next skip for now and that's it we successfully installed windows 11 25h2 in our system and of course we can go ahead and check either winverb if you want to check your windows 11 version which is 25h2 or just open up the settings app go into the system and then at the bottom in the about section you're also going to see here that we have installed windows 11 25h2 so this is the full process of clean installing windows 11 25h2 on your system of course the next steps would be to install your drivers and 
and customize the Windows 11 operating system to your preferences. So of course, this was the video for today. For more information, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from Tech Base. Until next time, have a nice day.